everyone welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a first impression what my thoughts are on shop hush shop hush is an online makeup store that sells makeup products for a very inexpensive price shop hush was kind enough to send me seven of their most popular palettes and I'm going to share my thoughts on what I think about them and do some swatches for you guys so yeah this video should be pretty interesting um this video is not going to be an eye to score or anything just sharing my first impressions and thoughts on these palettes so yeah if you guys are interested in what I think about shop hush then just keep on watching all right so these are all the palettes they sent me and for them being like really inexpensive each palette is about what ten dollars ten twelve dollars and the quality of the palettes isn't that bad you know you would expect worse but like the packaging is really really pretty and on the back it has like the ingredients and stuff they all look really nice i think i'm gonna start with the two palettes for highlighting so look how pretty the packaging actually looks so this is the mermaid glow palette comes with the big mirror and here are the six shades comes with a little plastic thing to protect them and yeah, I don't know if many of you have heard Hush, but they pretty much do dupes of high-end brands. So like these highlighting palettes really remind me of the Anastasia Glow Kids. I'm just curious to see if the quality is as good as Anastasia or other main brands, you know. So I'm just going to swatch some of these. Okay. When the light hits it, it looks really blinding, but from right here, it looks really powdery. Oh. Okay. They look pretty blinding. I don't know if you guys can see. Okay, so I don't know how to explain it. They look really blinding, but they're powdery, I guess. They're not like creamy or anything. They just feel really powdery. I'm just going to try the Unicorn Glow. Again, it comes with a big mirror. And here are the six shades. Again, these are really chalky. I don't know. I think I have to like actually try them out on my face because a swatch can be totally different from an actual application you know on your skin okay so the next ones i'm going to swatch are the aura and the retro love palettes i'll start with the retro love palette okay so here are all the shadows this is pretty much an exact replica of the subculture palette from anastasia instantly i already see a difference on the consistency of the highlighting palettes with this palette Look how blinding they look. This is Icon and this is Revolution. Look how pretty that shade looks. The shimmery shadows are actually really, really creamy. I'm going to try some of the matte. Here's one. Again, okay. <laughs> that one's chalky. And there's this one. Okay, that one's really pigmented, but definitely chalky also. All right, so they have pigment, but some of the shadows, the matte shadows were a little chalky. The foiled shadows were actually really creamy and really pigmented, but I don't um, want to just base my opinion on swatches because swatches can be totally different from an actual application with a brush. So I think I'm going to actually have to try some palettes out in another video. So if you guys are interested in that, just give this video a thumbs up and I will make sure to do a video with the palettes. All right, so next up is the aura palette and this is how it looks like again this is like a total dupe from the anastasia prism palette this has more oil Ooh, that one's nice all right so here are some quick swatches from that palette again the shimmery shadows are really pigmented and really buttery but i don't know if you guys can see this shadow this is the energy one that one is really really bad if i blow on it like little flakes come out that's weird so far i'm really liking the shimmery shadows from those two palettes i'm gonna see what i have with the last three palettes now this is the bad habit inferno palette this is such a pretty palette look at it it's very warm toned so these are some swatches from that palette really pigmented um surprisingly the matte shades aren't as chalky as the past two palettes now i have the athena palette so it has a big mirror and here are the shadows so this palette is actually a replica of that huda beauty palette i honestly forgot the name of it but it looks identical the shimmers look so pretty oh shit this is pretty 
Okay, so here are some swatches. This shade is Darling and it's so pretty. It's like loose glitter. The two matte shades swatch really pretty. Okay, so I'm definitely gonna do a tutorial with this palette because this one is like the only palette that actually swatched nicely. And the last palette that I have is the Aphrodite palette. Again, this is an exact replica of the Huda Beauty palette that I do not remember. So here are the swatches. So this one is a matte color. Um, You can see it's a little streaky but the shimmery shadows are really pigmented again. Alright so that is pretty much all for all the palettes. Honest thoughts, I feel like with each palette you get like half good shadows and half bad shadows. You just have to know which ones are good and which ones are bad if you understand what I'm saying. I feel like all the shimmery shadows are really pigmented and really creamy so I mean at least those work but with the matte shadows some look really chalky and some don't swatch good so the shimmery shadows from all the palettes are really nice and i'm looking forward to using them but the matte shadows i'm gonna have to play around with them more i'm gonna try my best to try out these palettes and i'll let you guys know what i think if you don't have me on snapchat you should add me on snapchat because i'm pretty much gonna be sharing my opinions through there and i'll probably do like small snap tutorials using one of these palettes um yeah, and I'll let you guys know what I think on them. If you want a tutorial on one of these palettes, just let me know in the comments below and I'll try my best to do a tutorial on them. But yeah, that is all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.